In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Welcome to St Mary's Church in Long Crendon for this celebration of All Saints Day. My thanks this week go to Jenny who's reading, John preaching and leading our prayers, and as ever Chris on music, Louise behind the camera, and Kathy for all her post-production. A vision of the saints from the book of Revelation. After this I looked and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom, and thanksgiving and honour, and power and might, be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God, and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat, for the Lamb at the centre of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Christ calls us to share the heavenly banquet of his love with all the saints in earth and heaven. Knowing our unworthiness and sin, let us ask from him, both mercy and forgiveness. Lord, you are gracious and compassionate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are loving to all, and your mercy is over all your creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ. have mercy. Your faithful servants bless your name and speak of the glory of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We sing the Gloria.
Gospel is taken from the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Thanks be to God. May these words of mine please him, for I rejoice in the Lord. One of the joys of preaching is that just occasionally I schedule to preach on a saint's day or a festival. And today is one such day. For it is All Saints Day, when we remember and give thanks for all the saints who have lived in the past and those on earth today. We have been blessed by some remarkable people known as saints over the past 2,000 years, and the study of all of them, including those whom the Anglican Church has decided to mark and commemorate, would take many years. And I don't think you'd probably wish me to preach for that long. It is perhaps worth noting that since the creation of the Church of England we have no new saints, because as a church we have not canonised any. But that does not stop us remembering those people whom we see as having done particular good. So of recent weeks and of future weeks let me have, give you a few suggestions. Earlier this week, we may have remembered King Alfred, the king who burned the cakes, or perhaps Brother Keth, a Celtic Christian, a monk from Lindisfarne, who acted as an interpreter at the Synod of Whitby in 664 AD. Later on in November, we could celebrate Elizabeth of Hungary, who died in 1231 at the age of 24, having been exiled from court for giving her husband's money away to found hospitals and to help the poor. She had been widowed at the age of 16, having already had three children. In contrast, this week the Church will remember Archbishop William Temple, who died in 1944. So you will see that our saints are varied and are both old and new. But as St Paul taught his congregations, we are also saints. And sometimes I think we need to remember this. We are the saints on earth now, called to do what Jesus taught us to do, to live his Christ life, and to live the blessed life outlined in the Beatitudes. And this may remind you of the prayer of St. Teresa of Avila. Christ has no body on earth now but yours. Remember, we are called, we are called by Jesus. We are called to act as Christ's body here and now. The wonderful words of the Beatitude should make it clear to us that we are not expected to be perfect or even at peace with ourselves and the world. 
It is almost as if Jesus expects us to be hurt, worried, even broken by life. For his promises are not aimed at the perfect, but the imperfect. For real people, living real, sometimes challenging or chaotic lives. That is the real message from the Beatitudes. Whatever is going wrong in our lives, Jesus promises us that the future will be better. There are just those times when we need to see the wood from the trees and realize that the wonderful message of love is actually pointing at us and not just at others. We are worthy of Christ's love and we need to be ready and open to accept that love and then willing to share it with those whom we meet in our lives. That is what the Christ life that I spoke about last week really is all about. As we walk this world, strengthened by the wonderful words of the Beatitudes, we are called to share the love of Jesus with compassion and without question to all who need it, using our hands to bless the world in Jesus' name. Remembering, as we do so, that it is the meek, merciful, the pure in heart, and the peacemakers who will be truly blessed by Jesus. In all his teachings, Jesus made it clear that following him would not be easy, so we are to expect to be challenged, sometimes to be hurt, for that is what happened to all the prophets in the Bible and to the apostles. But if we persevere, we will receive God's blessing as we finally join all the saints in that final glory. In the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, as we will sing later, for all the saints. The saints alive on earth and for all those who have gone before. We pray for all those who confess your glorious name, O Lord, our God. In our benefits we give thanks for all who clean and sanitize our three churches, quietly and without fuss, making the buildings ready and safe for private prayer and for worship. We pray for our church, this glorious worldwide communion of saints bound in holy fellowship here on earth. As we struggle with our daily grind, we remember those shining in endless glory with you now. Help us, Lord, to remember that we are always yours. Father, your reign spreads throughout this fragile, broken earth that you have given us and we call home. Let us make this world a fitting home for your saints here and for the countless hosts in glory in your kingdom. We pray for all those in positions of authority in this country and across the world. We pray that they may recall your words, that the meek and the merciful will be blessed, and that they remember to act in accordance with your love. Father, we pray for our supportive communities in our three villages, and we give thanks for the local initiatives of care during the pandemic. 
we pray that the pureness of love shown to others over the past months may bring many closer to you. We pray for all doctors, nurses and carers working in the NHS, in nursing homes and those caring for people at home. We pray, Father, for those who are sick in body, mind and spirit. We ask that they may be blessed by your healing love. Lord Jesus, we pray for all those who are bereaved and feeling lost. May they feel blessed by your presence and be comforted by your love. In a moment of silence, let us bring to mind those known to us who need our prayers at this time. Finally, Father, we pray that we are able to recognize your Son, Jesus Christ, as our Lord, as we look for our reward with the hosts of saints gone before in heaven. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God through Christ our Lord, who came and preached peace to those who were far off and to those who were near. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And so, from this house of prayer, through our villages and towns, your song of praise rings out. Each home becomes a church, beacons of service and of prayer, light against the darkness, with angels and archangels, to glorify your name. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise as Heavenly Father through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ Christ's will risen. come again. Accept through him our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we receive these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. Amen. Lord of heaven, in this Eucharist you have brought us near to an innumerable company of angels and to the spirits of the saints made perfect. As in this food of our earthly pilgrimage, we have shared their fellowship. So may we come to share their joy in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We sing the hymn, For All the Saints. this week as I record this service we've yet to finalize all our plans for Remembrance Sunday across the three of our villages uh, you'll understand that these involve uh, both negotiation with and the sign off of our local authorities so do please uh, look at the notice that accompanies this service or indeed subsequent emails that will come to you during the week 
But now I encourage you to close your eyes and bow your heads and receive the blessing that God wants to give each and every one of us, wherever we are. Christ our King, make you faithful and strong to do his will, that you may reign with him in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain in you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.